And now, a special message from the 45th and final President of the United States. Hello, my fellow America. I want to take a minute to respond to my response to my speech. First of all, I want to thank all my supporters and people who donated money to my presidency. I mean, my campaign. I mean, my children's legal defense fund. They're the best. Their names are scrolling below, just like on my website. I'm so proud to have taken their money. I can't believe the Democrats had that idiot Kennedy give their lame response. I was surprised to learn it wasn't the MTV VJ Kennedy. It was one of the ones that usually die. I didn't listen to a word he said, but I can't believe he promised amnesty to everyone in Miss 13. Sir, I think you mean MS 13. Okay, well, I'd like to meet Miss 13 if you know what I mean. Tonight, I was able to point at a lot of brave and honorable people and make people clap for them, which made me feel like they were clapping for me. I'm amazing. But there are a lot of people I didn't get to acknowledge. I want to, that's stale. I wanted to thank Bill Clinton for not bringing all the women who have accused me of sexual assault. We just didn't have any room for 19 credible accusers. I pointed to a lot of heroes tonight, but my favorite one wasn't even in the room. A great American hero, a symbol for everything this country stands for, who is being forced into retirement too soon. We will miss you, Chief Wahoo. Our nation owes you a great debt and a lot of land. There's an extremely brave immigrant who has spent the last 13 years in sheer agony. She was taken from her homeland and forced into a life she never wanted and can't escape. I love you, Melania. That's why we showed up tonight in two separate cars. I created jobs for two separate drivers. Honk, honk goes my car. Vroom, vroom goes her car. So many honks, so many rooms. You're welcome, America.